Hello everyone, Tommy's Reptiles here. My turtle shell is disgusting. It's covered with filth and grime. And I'm gonna show you how I get rid of it. All right guys, as you can see, my turtle ponds turn completely green. And this is only after a week. So every week I empty them out and put fresh water in there. But check out all the algae on this turtle shell. I cleaned her shell roughly two weeks ago. Let's empty out this pond, clean it up, and then clean this turtle shell. All right, now let's take everything out. Now I'll take the turtle out and rinse out the tub. Hey, get back here. Get back here. Clean out the filter a little bit. Look at all that algae in there. This stuff, got to replace this polyfill. All right, let's get started. All right, I got the filter pretty clean. Let's put it back together real quick. All right, guys, now that her water's clean, let's get her shell clean. All right, guys, so I'll put her in this container. I have the Turtle Scrubber 5000, also known as a toothbrush. I keep her in a container just to keep her contained until, um, until I'm done because she has really sharp nails. But all I do is scrub away with the toothbrush We'll do half of her shell first to show you the difference. So I also use a little running water from the hose. And then if I can, ow, that hurts. If I can, I just really get in there, get all the algae off. I feel, even though they say algae is not bad for turtles, I feel like it kind of inhibits them shedding their scoots. So I try to keep algae off of them. And it looks like she has to shed soon. All right, come on, girl. Here you go. Got to really get in there. All right. Almost done on this side. Give her a little rinse. Rinse off the toothbrush. And then this is the hardest part right here. This is where it really builds up. So I really gotta kind of press hard on that section. And I have another brush. If this one is not working, I have like a heavy duty brush that cleans like a little better, but I think I can manage with just this toothbrush. All right, you guys convinced me. I'm gonna try this other brush. I'm just gonna go really gentle with it, but See if this one works any better. Not bad. Halfway done. As you can see, most of the algae is off of this side. And now that I cleared it all off, you can see that she's about to shed some scoots. So that's good. She'll shed these and there'll be absolutely no algae on her shell and she'll be perfectly clean. Now let's do the other side and get her back in the water and get her something to eat. It's just about done. Shell's pretty clean. And like I said, it'll be way easier for her to shed those scoots than have a perfectly clean, healthy shell. What do you say we put her back in the water and get her something to eat? All right, let's get her in. There she goes. Good as new. All right, let's give her some food. She's 
Someone was starving. All that cleaning gave her an appetite. Let's show the people what you can do. There you go. Good job. Follow me if you want to live. Anytime I clean algae out of this pond, I go ahead and just do it out of this pond, get it out of the way. But uh, yeah, once a week. Hopefully I can figure something out soon. All right guys, I'll leave you with some footage of my Diamondback Terrapin swimming around and eating. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any better methods of cleaning a turtle shell, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching Tommy's Reptile.